The title track of Brad Paisley's new Love and War album is a strong social statement about how we treat war veterans. The song, a duet with John Fogarty, is one the singer says he's absolutely right about. It's hard to argue, and they say all is fair in love and war, Paisley sings, but that ain't true, it's wrong. They send you off to die for us, forget about you when you don't. Recently, Taste of Country's Billy Dukes asked Brad, why now? It's one thing that back in the Vietnam era, they were spit on. Uh, we learned from that though. We didn't make that mistake again with Iraq or Afghanistan where we learned it's like, okay, whether or not you support the war, you honor the soldiers that fight. So that's good, but we didn't learn everything we needed to learn because it's one thing to not spit on them, but it's another thing to say, we honor you and then not give them what they deserve or need. The song comes from a personal place. Brad's dad is an army vet. His grandfather fought in World War II, but mostly he's just watched his promises get broken. If the song sounds a little angry at times, yeah. The thing about love and war that is really, I think, important is that it's rare that you, you're, you're sure you're right in life. I'm finding that. It's not always, life isn't black and white. You're not always sure you're right. At least I'm not. As the, the older I get, the more I realize it's like sometimes I'm like, well, you know what? I was wrong about that. This is one where we're, we're right. I'm pretty sure of that. We're right when we say that they're not being honored. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate what Paisley and Fogarty are standing up for on Love and War. The music video is part of a visual album being released on April 28th. Both projects are a risk, Paisley admits, but in his mind, being bold enough to take the risk makes him successful. And one of the things I've tried to pass along to my kids is, like when I was finishing this whole visual album for readying it for release, this is the first of its kind, so I don't know how it's gonna do. I mean, no one may watch it. They won't know, they certainly aren't expecting it. So, but I wrote the, a letter to, to my kids. If I could write a letter to my kids, but it was really to me it, because it was me telling them honestly what I think I need to hear because they watched me get no sleep for the last two weeks to edit this movie and then bleed for this and cry. They watched me cry watching some of it because it's impossible not to honestly. Um, and I told them I don't know how it's going to do as far as successful or not successful because they both said this is going to be huge and I said well guys I don't know but what I do know is I'm proud of it and I love it and I'm and I know that what I've done is the right thing and in that sense as you go through life whether or not you're successful is not as important to me as whether or not you did something good.